Surfaces are often created because of the extra control and capability they offer, but most manufacturing and production processes require solid CAD models. Fortunately, SOLIDWORKS provides several tools that turn surface bodies into solids, allowing you to take advantage of surfacing workflows as needed, while still producing a solid model as the end result. So let's take a look at three different methods for converting surfaces to solids in this two-minute tech tip. Our first approach uses the thicken command, which is one of the most common methods for creating solids from surface bodies. This hand scoop was created using surface modeling techniques to give finer control over its shape, which is especially useful for models with intricate curves or more organic geometry. With the surface body complete, the thicken command can be used to turn it into a thin walled part by specifying a wall thickness as well as direction for material to be added. This can be to the inside, outside, or both. After completing the command, the surface body has been consumed and a solid body has been created, but the original surface model can still be edited if required, retaining flexibility. Notice the surface body folder is now empty and the solid body folder shows one. While this approach is the most universal, there are several others to consider as well, so let's look at another example. In this approach, the scoop was imported from a step file and has no editable feature tree. There's an opening here in the handle where a thumb rest was removed, leaving this as a surface body. The green and orange appearances were applied to highlight the hole. The opening can be closed and the body turned back into a solid with a single filled surface command. Simply select the edges of the opening and check the boxes for merge result and create solid. This approach allows you to create a solid without requiring extra knit and thicken features and is great for imported models which often contain small gaps like this. Sometimes filled surface isn't always the best choice. In this version of the scoop, let's try adding a raised rib for extra grip. The rib will be made with the swept surface and two planar surfaces. The sweep follows the edges of the opening as guide curves and the planar surfaces close off the ends. Once complete, the knit command can be used to join them all into a single surface. It automatically recognizes the resulting surface will be fully enclosed and offers the option to generate a solid body. Just check the box to create a solid and click OK. The result is a single solid body. This approach is best for multiple watertight surface bodies that need to be merged and converted to a solid at the same time. All three of these commands are great ways to convert a surface into a solid. This allows surface modeling to be used when more control is required, while still allowing you to easily produce a conventional solid body. To learn more about surface modeling, including additional methods for converting surfaces to solids, Check out the SOLIDWORKS surfacing course on Solid Professor, which starts with an introduction to surfacing and progresses to more complex surfacing topics. <laughs>